What's up everybody, welcome to another scalping lesson. In today's video, I want to teach you a scalping strategy that is based on price action analysis. No indicator is used in this strategy and all we have is only a price chart. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, the scalping strategy that I want to explain in this video is one of the popular trading strategies in the market and it's been used by traders for many years now. As I said, in this strategy, we don't use any indicator and all we have is just a naked chart. In this strategy, we use two types time frames 5 minutes which is used for trade entry and 15 minutes which is used for identifying general movement and levels of the market we start this strategy on 15 minutes time frame and after identifying the high and low levels of the market we switch to 5 minutes time frame for discovering a potential trade entry all right now let's see how we trade based on this scalping strategy on 15 minutes time frame when a candle is closed for example let's begin from here when this candle is closed we mark two Two lines on the high and low of the candle here we choose this tool which uh, we can use it for drawing lines and here in this level for the high we draw a line and another one here at the low level of the candle after drawing the lines uh, we switch to five minutes time frame please pay attention that here for illustrating the strategy i'm uh, i'm using the past data but in practice you work with the right side of the chart actually when a new candle just started to forming and opens here we work with the candle before that in practice when this candle is closed instantly we must start drawing the lines for low level and high level of the candle all right let's get back to where we were candle here started at 7 UTC and now we switch to 5 minutes time frame and it should be here at 7 UTC actually that 15 minutes candle started here please pay attention that one candle on 15 minutes time frame is equal to three candles on five minutes time frame started at 7 UTC one two three and these uh, three candles are actually the price movement inside that one candle in 15 minutes time frame now if the fourth candle breaks this level we enter a trade we must wait until the candle is closed above this line so we enter a long position here as the new candle is opened placing of stop loss for this position depends on the distance of these two lines uh, which is actually the distance from low to high of the candle on 15 minutes time frame if the distance is short we can set our stop loss below the line and if it's uh, far from our trade entry we can set it somewhere in the middle for example in this case we can set it here below the low of the middle candle and for the profit target we set our take profit order at the level that makes the risk to reward ratio equal was 1.5 let's get back to 15 minutes time frame and here let me show you another example let's consider this candle when this candle is closed on 15 minutes time frame similarly we mark the high and low levels of the candle like this and then we switch to five minutes time frame now let's see if the price rose the resistance level. The candle was started at 8.15 UTC, which is here. One, two, three candles. And if the fourth candle breaks this line, we enter a trade. So we can enter a long position here as the new candle opened. For this position, we set the stop loss here below the low of the third candle. And profit target at 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Let's get back to 15 minutes time frame and let me mention an important point here. When a doji or a spinning top forms on the chart, it's better not to consider them for trading because these candles show indecision in this period. You can trade based on them, but the risk is a little higher. For example, let's consider this candle and see what's going on with this. Let's mark the low and high with line tool. Candle started at 7.45, we switch to 5 minutes time frame, and 
here it is candle starts at here one two three and the fourth candle closed above this line so in this case we can enter a long position but if you pay attention to the price movement here you can see that it's totally flat so the risk is a little bit higher in this case so when a doji or spanning top forms on the chart it's better not to consider them in this trading strategy all right these two examples were for advancing of the price and in declining of the price we do the same but here breaking of the support level is important to us for example here when this candle is closed instantly we mark the high and low with line tool the candle started at 9 15 we switch to five minutes uh, let's see how the price played out 915 here it is one two three candles and the fourth candle breaks this line and closes below this level so we can enter a short position here as the new candle is opened the stop loss for this position can be placed here in the middle somewhere below the high of this uh, third candle and the profit target at 1.5 risk to reward ratio let's get back to 15 minutes time frame and discuss other important points related to this strategy here we got a green candle it's actually a pullback following this declining of the price and let's see what our strategy does with this green candle we mark its high and low with our line tool the candle started at 10:15 switch to five minutes time frame and here it is one two three and the fourth candle didn't break this level so in this case our strategy correctly didn't give us any signal for opening a long position we get back to 15 minutes time frame uh, please pay attention that the fourth candle doesn't always break the high or low levels. For example, if uh, we consider this candle and we mark it slow and high. It's formed at 10.45. here one two three and here in this case you can see that the fourth candle didn't broke this level so we don't enter any short position here at this point you may uh, think that maybe this was a short candle that this happened but uh, for example if we also consider this candle which is a long red candle showing selling pressure after marking low and high It's at 11, going to 5 minutes. started here one two three and for this case you can also see that the fourth candle didn't break the support level so here also we don't enter any short position. This strategy is strong enough to not give regularly false signals in the times that uh, market show pullback or in the times that market becomes a little bit weak in situations when turning points of the price is happening. But please pay attention that this strategy doesn't generate 100% guaranteed signals and losing trades are part of the game. This strategy works best when the price is advancing or declining and lose its reliability a little when the market is flat so it's better to stop trading in the times that the market is flat and wait for the times that you can clearly see advancing or declining of the price to run this strategy successfully and profitably you need to manage your risk properly this is a scalping strategy and you're going to actively trade in a day and you must understand that losing trades are part of the game and it's impossible to win every single trade so you must exactly determine how much you will lose if the market suddenly 
may turn against your position. For active trading such as scalping strategies, there is a risk management strategy which is called 1% rule. I have a complete guide on this. The link is also placed in the description of this video and I highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy, you cannot successfully and profitably run the scalping strategy that I explained in this video. Not only for this scalping strategy but for any other trading strategies that you want to use, it's very important to manage your risk properly. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.